What is going on dudes? Brethren here and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about the April 16th update which is tomorrow depending on where you live and then also the April 23rd update and what's going to be coming in those updates as well as some other cool stuff that they have tweeted out here recently and something really big actually that we'll get into here in just a second but if you guys do go to enjoy this video please do hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe so you don't miss stuff like this in the future. So first up guys, one of the things that Jimmy Wisenhunt tweeted out, which is one of the devs over there at the team, is this cool little gif where this guy is obviously handcuffed here and he's getting pretty much swarmed by bees. So they're gonna be implementing bees. Now they haven't talked about what update this is going to be in because there's only currently two updates right now that are on the roadmap. And if you guys would like to check out the roadmap on the H1Z1 website, feel free, that link will be provided in the description below uh, but it doesn't really currently give us a date on what update these are gonna be coming out in and definitely another environmental factor that we will have to look out for in the future moving on though guys as you see here Sebastian which is one of the art directors over on the H1Z1 team he tweeted out concept started for the Kurama health and medical research facility building he tweeted out basically a picture that they have been working on as far as what this new medical facility building is going to look like in the H1Z1 game and it looks massive in my opinion and absolutely beast. We got some type of uh, I would say van out front probably maybe even an ambulance. At the bottom they have real pulled images probably off of Google or something to give them ideas of what they want to do with the interior of the building which is uh, pretty awesome. I definitely want to see some more screenshots on this. It's going to be interesting to know what is actually going to be available as far as loot in this building i'm gonna guess a lot of medical supplies obviously but are there gonna be guns you know handcuffs things of that nature unfortunately right now guys it looks like they're in the very beginning of design so they only have this one screenshot for us to look at but when there is more information on this i will definitely let you guys know so moving in to the april 16th update not a lot here but there is something really really cool that i'm excited for and that is throwables guys they're implementing a system where you can now throw items such as gas gas grenades, smoke grenades, Molotovs, as well as flashbangs. And you can see that he throws a Molotov cocktail at a huge horde of zombies and it basically just takes all of them out. So this could be a really key factor in farming zombies and obviously taking out a huge horde with basically just one item. So that's pretty cool guys. Moving on, they're also adding police car interior, basically a higher resolution to the police car interior. And wrapping it up for this update guys, we have grouping systems, which is implementing a group system so players can join a group which will be available to be seen in game. Moving on guys to the April 23rd update. This is a pretty cool update as well because this is when they're going to be added to the Steam Marketplace. We will be adding our game onto the Steam Marketplace so players can buy, sell, and trade items in their account inventory with other players. So all the Battle Royale crates, some of your t-shirts, probably the rare ones, things like that, you will be able to trade and also sell, buy, and all that cool stuff on the Steam Marketplace like a lot of games already, especially CSGO that's really big with the selling of the skins and the guns and the knives and all this stuff so definitely excited about that I got tons of crates that I'm probably going to be putting on there to get some cool skins uh, for my character obviously and I can't wait for them to come out with skins on guns I know they talked about it in a stream in the past Hopefully that will be here in the near future as well. Definitely excited about that. But they also go on to say Steam Friends, adding a functionality to be able to join the server that your friend is playing on through your Steam Friend list. So pretty cool stuff there as well. Moving on though, H1Z1 Virus. So as you guys know, currently you can inject yourself with zombie blood, but it really doesn't do anything. Now they're gonna be adding the H1Z1 Virus to the body sim once the player has the H1Z virus and if not maintained, they will slowly begin to turn into a zombie, gaining zombie senses as they go. So these zombie senses include things like night vision and also player tracking. And I also heard rumors of you being able to eat like raw meat and stuff like that if you turn into a zombie so they might be adding that they didn't specify it in the change log but that would be cool to see as well 
Next up, we have First Person Battle Royale. So we will be adding First Person Battle Royale servers. This version of BR will act like a hardcore version of the game. It will include zombies and have some different rewards associated with them. So I'm not really big on first person. I really like third person. Occasionally, I will go into first person, though. But I'll definitely have to check this new game mode out because it's going to be including zombies, which is going to make it that much more difficult. You're not going to be able to camp or anything like that and also there are going to be different rewards associated with them so I'm definitely going to want to check out those rewards and get my hands on some of them moving on though guys they're going to be adding a session diary which is a running log that you can look at while you're playing slowly the progress of that session so while you're playing the game you'll be able to look at some of your stats throughout that game I don't know if they're going to have it in BR or just survival it doesn't really specify but that's pretty cool uh, news to also hear moving on last but not least we have the off-roader interior that is also going to be getting a higher resolution I think this is the last car that they have to give a higher resolution to because they already done the truck and then in the April 16th update they're doing the police car and now they're gonna be doing the off-roader so hopefully they can get us some new vehicles soon I definitely want to see a dirt bike I just can imagine myself shooting from the dirt bike because they need to do that like if you have a dirt bike you have to be able to shoot your gun from it and do drive-bys that'll just be absolutely nuts but uh yeah guys can't wait for that hopefully there's news on that soon as well as this new medical facility also looking beast and can't wait to know more about that subject as well anyways guys that's it for the video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you dudes did enjoy if you did please do smash that like button for me definitely helps me out and shares the video around as well as if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe so you don't miss news like this in the future and you guys can stay up to date with all the latest h1z1 news other than that though dudes hope you're having an awesome day and i will see your face in the next video peace out